Just a very quick one, uh, in this video I'm just going to talk you through the process you should take when you are prepping and painting a rendered wall like this one. Now this is obviously a garden wall, which technically you probably shouldn't paint a garden wall because you see what happens is the wall itself does not contain a waterproof membrane and the other thing, because the render goes right the way to the floor, what happens is the render sucks water up and it, uh, it spits it out up here and the end result is your paint doesn't last uh, so i'm going to talk you through the actual prep that we're going to take before we paint this wall and then i'm going to talk you through the types of materials you can use to sort of prolong the life of um, the paint the finished paint product on your garden wall so that it lasts a few years before you have to take it again first things first we have loads of loose paint which obviously needs to come off. It needs to come off for a couple of reasons. First of all, if you paint over um, anything, it doesn't matter what quality of product you are painting over it, if this paint underneath um, starts to fail, so will your finished product. So get as much as you possibly can. I'm not gonna do it all in, the, all in this video, but all of this needs to come off. Then we've got, Nails like this, any rust, these nails can actually come out to be honest, but if there's anything metal that needs to remain in the wall for whatever reason, what you need to do is just spot prime it with a little bit of um, uh, oxide primer. Uh, and what happens is that obviously stops the oxygen from getting to the metal and it actually stops any rust from happening. Um, and the last thing we need, see these little contours here? Later on in the video, I'm going to show you, or later on in this blog, should I say, I'm going to show you how to hide these with filler. So if you read this one all the way down, I'm going to actually show you the process there. And that way, uh, you'll be able to achieve a real good finish. We also have, if you come around here, a large part of wall that's obviously come away. Um, that is too big. That's, that's over an inch deep, and it needs squaring off there. This section here, is far too deep to use an external filler. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna mix some uh, rend render bought from B&Q, uh, it's very, very cheap. Uh, and I'm gonna show you how to cover this and a couple of coats. And again, there's, there's contours rounds and things like that. You'll actually see moss growing on the render as well. Now, moss is a little bit of a strange plant. Um, it actually grows um, in stonework, any stonework, including render, um, that is uh, degrading. And what it actually does, the roots of this stuff will actually help uh, to degrade the render so it sort of grows on itself. So what we need to do, we need to kill all the moss. And then to do that, we're gonna use um, uh, uh, an antifungal wash. Again, further down the blog, you'll be able to read about it and I'll give you my recommendations. Last thing, the very last thing is um, the product that we're going to use to coat the wall. Now, um, because of the issues that I've already explained about uh, the, this wall is always going to contain a certain amount of moisture. So we need to counteract that. The first thing I'm going to do on this particular wall is I'm going to prime any bare surfaces like this with a breathable stabilizing solution now the one i use sorry is zinza peel stop zinza peel stop will prolong the life of your finished product for years and years and years it's cheap it's water based it's dead easy to use it goes for miles and it prolongs the life of your finished product uh, and then the other thing that we need to use is a breathable masonry paint now a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that a masonry paint is a masonry paint. It isn't. Anything that contains any uh, lime or any moisture is gonna need something breathable so that any moisture that's in the wall can permeate through the finished product and not throw the paint off. So you're not gonna get this peeling within the next couple of years. So the product I use is Emperor Paints. Emperor Paints, and I know it's expensive, but Emperor Paints is a silicate base uh, masonry paint it is the very best masonry paint on the market and it will last for years and years and years um, brilliant